Hi, Dr. Courtney, Jesus Professor here. And today we're talking about preparing for the end times. Scripture says, For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. This is Jesus speaking in Matthew chapter 24. There is temptation to think that following Jesus will be easier sometime in the future. We'll have more resources, fewer distractions, less temptations. Jesus told us that he who is faithful in little will be faithful in much. In Luke 23, Jesus describes the time of his crucifixion as the tree being green and asks what will happen in the end times when the tree is dry. Trauma stories from past and present pale in comparison with the great distress that Jesus speaks of as coming. Jesus can multiply our faith and perseverance, but how much faith and perseverance are we really practicing in our daily walk? If we're shucking and jiving from obeying God's word when the tree is green, why do we think we'll suddenly obey? when the tree is dry. The best preparation for the end times is simply being sold out for Jesus in our daily lives right now. Are you in the word every day? Do you really worship Jesus every day? Are you praying every day? Do you really believe that man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Jesus? Which bread are you worrying about more from day to day right now? The bread to fill your stomach or the bread from heaven to feed your soul and your spirit? And what of the rest of your household? Is there an enemy in the camp? Is there a porn or a drug problem that means that the one with the habit will belong more to the devil that has bound them in this sin than on the side of Jesus and his people when the tree is dry? We feel safer if our unresolved sin is gossip or selfish ambition but these two will also spell disaster in the end times, just as surely as sexual sin and drug addiction. Preparation for the end times begins with honesty, not stocked up guns and gold and supplies. Every nugget of scripture gets more and more true as the day of evil approaches. Do not store up treasures on earth, where rust and moth destroy, where thieves break in and steal. But store up treasure in heaven, where rust and moth does not destroy, where thief does not break in and steal. There's nothing wrong with being a prepper. I'm a prepper myself, but it's a matter of priorities. Rather than think that God helps those who help themselves, which is a lie, you should think, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Praise the Lord Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus, every tongue confess. Hi. Suicide rates are rising rapidly, so most Jesus followers should prepare ourselves for a more active role in preventing suicides. We are on the front line since pros rarely get involved until a foot soldier helps connect people in crisis with trained professionals. E94.org is a Christian ministry dedicated to equipping the church to prevent suicide through free training of foot soldiers to prevent suicide through training, consulting, and resources. Get equipped to give hope and help and confidently refer people to professional counselors. Learn more at e94.org. Thank you.